The whole appeal of apps like Notion or AnyType is that you can design it in any way you like. But this can also be very overwhelming. There's so many videos online of templates and layouts that people design for their applications, and sometimes it's just nicer to sit down and work. Luckily, AnyType has you covered because the way it utilizes templates is such that it's very simple to just get up and go if you need to put information in your app and you don't want to worry about figuring out where to format it. So that's what we're gonna be looking at today. There's a couple main features of templates that make any type really unique. So first and foremost, let's make some templates. I'm gonna to go to library. I'm going to make a new type. They have an, a type for movie, but I'm just gonna make my own because I'd much rather do that. And then we'll do a couple relations just to fill this out. Okay, let's do that for now. We're mainly here to look at the templates. Now, every object type in any type comes with a default template. It's this thing. I can't even open it to show it to you because it is quite literally nothing. If I created a new movie, let's call this Dune, it, this is the template it comes with and it's blank. There's nothing here aside from this which shows us what object type it is. So that's that. But let's assume that we want to actually lay this out on our own. We'll just click the plus button here and then we can fill this out. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that you don't wanna put a title here because obviously this is a template. So if you put a title here, every time you use this template, it will utilize that title. So instead we can start filling out our layout. I'm going to go up here and here we can see all of the relations. These are the featured relations, which are what shows up in this bar right here. So if I, for instance, put my name in there, who's created by, it'll show up in that bar. If I wanna put the Creation date, it'll also show up there. I don't really want those, but that's a really nice way if you are making a template to have information that just appears by default up there. I'm gonna take things like the cast, I'm gonna drag it over here, and I'm gonna take the release year, and I'm gonna drag it over there. Okay, we've had a little bit of technical difficulties because they put themselves in the wrong place, but here we are now. Now we have both of our relations that are gonna be open here, and then maybe if I want to have a call out, and this will be my summary of the movie, I'll put this on the side here. So this is functional. Obviously, you know, this isn't the perfect template, but it's a good example of what a template might look like. So we'll close out of this. Now, if we create a new object, we can see from here, this says this type has two templates. You click on this, you can select the template that you want. And then here, obviously, it'll load in all of the template information. If we put in the release year, that'd be 2024. It took me a second to figure that out. For some reason, this number is formatting poorly, but that's the idea. You can fill out your template as you see fit. Now, let's say you want to set that template to make it the default template that you always open your notes with. That's pretty simple. You just go up here, you click on these three dots, and you say set as default. Now, whenever we make a new movie, it's going to show up with this. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. And obviously, you can create more and more templates that are however you want them. And you know you can you can view all of them from here. Obviously, all of these templates you can also set as default if you want. But let's say you're working on a movie database, and all you really care about in this movie database is the movie and then your thoughts on it. So you make a new template. We'll call it. We'll put here uh, movie thoughts. Okay. So here's your template, and let's assume you're going to fill this out with your thoughts when you have the movie. So you go and you make a new page. And you call this your movie database. And in here, we'll put an inline set of movies. And we'll have to make a new set because it doesn't exist yet. There we go. So now it's showing all of our movies. But let's assume you want every object in this set to use a specific template. If that's the case, you can simply go up here click on this little drop down, find the template that you want. Unfortunately, it doesn't show the text, but it kind of shows a rough outline of what it looks like. Click the three dots and then hit default for this view. Now, every time we make a new object, it's going to use that default template, even though if we make an object not through this set, like, you know, we made this object by hitting the new button up here. If we make a new movie from here, it's going to use this template. So this simply allows us to choose specific templates for specific sets. All right, final little tip, because I found this really helpful. In the library, in one of these objects, when you click on it, it shows your recommended layout. Now, the recommended layouts are kind of weird. If I, for instance, make a new page, it's got the title, it's got stuff, and it's got an icon, it'll be the monkey. 
So this is your default layout and you can click on this right here and it'll show you the layout types. Basic puts the title there. Profile gives you a profile image instead. Action makes it a checkbox and note puts the title down here. I don't know why anyone would want to use this. I'm not quite sure, but for some reason, the note layout puts your title as the first line of text. So by default, the page object uses this layout, the basic layout that puts the title up in the title bar, but some objects will use the note layout. And if you don't like this, there's a simple way to change it. So for example, every time you make a new object, it defaults to a note. And this layout is the note layout, which means that the title of this note is this thing. Now, this doesn't seem like a huge deal. You know, you can just put stuff down here. The frustrating thing though, is that if you want to just make a new note, it's going to start putting all of the contents into the title. Now, I'm not quite sure why any type is built like this, but I find it highly frustrating because I want to make notes, throw a basic title in there and then start filling it out. I don't want to have to worry about, you know, everything I put in here being added slowly to this title because that is kind of silly. And eventually, you know, if I make an actual note here, this title is going to be massive. So the way to fix this is you go to the library, you go to the object type of note, you choose a template. Don't change any of this. Don't start putting things in here. Just go to the layout and hit basic. Now you go back here, set this as the default. Now, every time we make a note, it's going to use the basic layout, which means you can actually put a title in here and then start putting your stuff in here. And it's not going to start putting the content of your note into the title. So you see the difference is this note is using the note layout. So everything is considered the title and there's no big heading. This note, same object type, but it's using a different layout. So this is the heading and this is the content and you don't get this absurd problem. So that's about it. That's most of what templates can do in any type. I hope you can see they've got a lot of specific functionalities that help you curate them to your needs, especially using them in your databases as your default for that database. Hopefully this helps you better utilize databases, better utilize objects, and in general, just utilize any type as a whole. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to see from me next, any other tutorials you want me to do, and I will see you guys around.